Four Afghan civilians have been killed by a roadside bomb in Kabul. The device was remotely detonated in a busy shopping area on the outskirts of the city. Attacks in and around Kabul have increased in recent months. Fighting has also spread to neighbouring Wardak province. It's an area the government has been investing in heavily. But local people say construction is pointless without proper security. Lucy Keating has more. Wardak province is teeming with soldiers. The Afghan army and NATO have been fighting a Taliban resurgence in the area, pitching battles against some 2,000 fighters. Such deterioration in a region so close to the capital has brought Vardak firmly to the government's attention. And in an effort to win over the local population, it's become the focus of government construction efforts. Afghan and Turkish troops have been drafted in to guard the new projects. I believe everyone wants security and stability for this region. That's why we must utilize the current security in building the country. Official celebrations here are rare, but the politicians are proud to unveil new buildings that will house the country's fledgling police force. The residents should be proud too, but they have greater concerns. They say the Afghan government has failed to deliver on its promise to bring security. They've heard about the billions of dollars flowing into the country, but it's had little impact on their lives. Yet for the government, these projects are an important symbolic gesture, proof that there is progress despite security obstacles. International and local terrorism is still strongly present in this country where citizens are being killed. Therefore, building these kinds of essential institutions is very important and will have a strong impact on the people. I believe these positive effects will echo soon. But for ordinary people for whom every day is a struggle, without peace, Reconstruction is pointless. Lucy Keating, Al Jazeera.